All right, we've taken delivery and uncrated the motors for the Mustang and the Lincoln that we're working on. And so let's do the big reveal. And bam, booyah. Isn't this gorgeous? This is a dual core AC racing motor. That means that inside this case are two separate AC motors. And on this end here, you can see the company that produces this and uses gorgeous billet aluminum and anodized is AM Racing. These are, I think, probably the best looking motors I've ever seen. And let's see, these crate handles here are just for shipping and will not be part of the installation. This area here is where we're gonna connect the two inverters, one for each motor. We'll be using Reinhardt inverters. Uh, the ones we're using are set up to deliver 400 volts. These motors can operate at 400 volts or at 700 volts, depending on how you order and set up your inverters. And if you come around here, you can see this is the drive end. So you have your splined output shaft here. And in a direct drive model, this will literally be uh, straight onto the drive shaft. And you can see down here, you have your oil reserve tank. I'll tell you something, man, if this motor delivers as good as it looks, this is just gonna be outstanding. So I've had some questions asked about batteries. So let's take a look at some cells here. All right, this is a 3.7 volt LiPo cell, lithium polymer cell. Uh, these cells are the cells that we were using originally in the Zombie uh, 222 before we switched over and started using some of the VoltaBox cells. Uh, these were ultra high power cells and we loved them and we do like LiPo. So what we decided to do for these cars, since they're gonna be more street cars and need more range, is to go with this 75 amp hour LiPo cell. I mean, what a cell. This is a sample cell that we've been using for sizing, so it's a little banged up. But as you can see here, you have massive tabs, and this is a live cell, so of course those are taped off so we won't spark anything. These are also high power cells, which means 75 amp hours, 3.7 volts, can sustainably discharge 750 amps, and can do 10 second discharges of up to 1500 amps. Very, very cool. Can't wait to get those in these cars. Anyway, let's just get to it. And here we have one of the Reinhardt inverters, one of the two. Also, gorgeous billet aluminum, real piece of art. So these two guys are responsible for controlling the voltage, amperage, power being released to the motor, uh, enabling regeneration, etc. Very nice very nice looking. Everything so far, I have to tell you, looks very high quality. All right, Joe, so what's this big secret you're working on here, man? I keep seeing you run around here with duct tape and wood. And what are you working on, man? This is a mock-up of AMR Racing's dual core racing motor. And we're going to use it along with mock-ups of the inverters uh, to test fit and work up mounting mechanisms for the motors. Sweet. That way we use it and we can get in there and work with it. It's light, doesn't weigh as much as all the rest of it. We don't scratch up the, uh, the pretty motors and, uh, and we don't scratch up the car. Wow, so you're gonna actually put on like uh, where the oil pan goes and connectors and everything? So this right. is gonna be 100% to scale. Right, it's, it's all the way to scale within, I'd probably say a 10th to 100th of an inch. Excellent. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and, and put in the, uh, the terminal mounts as well as the oil pan and the pump. That means well. with my bad back, I could actually help lift this and hold it. Yes. Right, right. The model doesn't weigh more than about five pounds. All right, versus excellent. The, the motor that weighs 180. Yeah, well, this is going to get a lot of use then because we got that other guy calling about that other car, and so that'd be three cars now we'd need that motor set up All in. Right. So, excellent. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.